Oprah. I'll tell you who is a, a, an expert. Oprah's pretty powerful, you know. Oprah is very powerful. She can call people whatever she wants. I'll tell you who is an expert, and that is uh, Wendy Sellen. She is an author, lives in Solana Beach, and she co-wrote uh, Breast Cancer Boot Camp, Dr. Hobbins Breast Thermography Revolution. And Wendy also founded the Women's Academy of Breast Thermography. Now, Wendy heard us talking about, yesterday, we mentioned that we are going to talk about boobs today. And she sent me an email, and she says, listen, if you need to know anything, I know all there is to know about boobs. Is that pretty close, Wendy? Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Wendy, you heard us talking about that there seems to be an ever-expanding chest size. Uh, and that not, not that necessarily breasts are getting larger, but the circumference around women is getting larger. It may, that may have to do with the breast size itself. I, am I right that this may have something maybe evidentiary of some of the growing obesity epidemics in Merca? I believe so, yes. I even mentioned that in the book. Now, what is it in the book that you say about it? Well, um, I believe exactly what you're saying is that, obviously, you're having an increase in obesity in America. And one of the problems is what we call plant estrogens or phytoestrogens that are found in food, and that would be soy. In the 1980s, they started making soy an emulsifier in many processed foods. And as you know... Soy increases weight gain. It is the hormone estrogen that they use um, in cows to fatten up cows, for example. Well, I thought that soy was supposed to be good, and I could eat soy if I were a vegetarian. That was going to make me skinny. Soy is good in moderation. Oh, it seems like everything is. Yes, yes, yes. So what the problem is, is when you put soy in all of our processed food, what is that going to do to our children? What is that going to do to us? Think about when we were young. I believe we're around the same age. We ate Doritos and Cheetos and things like that. Yeah, I had them for breakfast. Around as a kid, back when we were younger, they were still skinny. Now take that same Doritos and said, and now they're excuse me, and now they're putting soy as the emulsifier. Maybe that additive oh. is making a difference. Now I can't prove that, but it's just a, one of my beliefs. Okay, so Wendy Sellens is, uh, she's in Solana Beach, the founder of Women's Academy of Breast Thermography, and she's an author. She, she knows what there is to know about it. What are you seeing through your profession here, uh, oh. thermography? What are you seeing as a result of the increased uh, uh, weight of many of your patients? Well, what's interesting, in the 80s, when they started putting soy into the food, Dr. Hobbin saw an increase in vascularity in the breast. Okay, well, what does that mean? More veins okay. in the boobs? What it means? No, no, no. That's neoangiogenesis. Neoangiogenesis is new blood growth. Vascularity is stimulation of the existing blood vessels. Okay, so, so what, what does that mean? Go ahead. What does that mean? Talk. Listen, I'm a yeah. dude, and I'm not very smart, Wendy. So you're no, gonna have to no, really. <laughs> you're not smart, but no. you're a lot of fun, and that's all that matters, all right. right? Okay. See, she agrees. I'm not an intelligent individual. All right. I didn't mean it that way. Go ahead. Sorry. No, yeah. I love it, Wendy. We're, we're going to use that cut. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyways, what that means is you are eating too much extra estrogen. Estrogen is a stimulator, and it stimulates the blood vessels. That's why we're seeing an increase in breast cancer. Um, for example, women who experience PMS, that is not normal. That is too much estrogen. Wait, PMS is not normal? No, it's a hormonal imbalance. But because everyone has it, we think it's normal. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Yeah, so what happens is when you increase the vascularity, the breasts swell. They become dense. And that's why you're seeing all these problems with women that come in and say, my mammogram can't see anything because my breasts are too dense. Well, you... You've expanded. Think of your blood vessels as a garden hose. Estrogen is a stimulator. So when you turn on that water, think of that blood, the blood vessel expanding like a garden hose. Okay. And that's what's causing a large increase in, or I don't want to say it's actually increasing the breast size. A lot of women complain of swollen breasts. But think about birth control pills. When you go on birth control pills, what happens? You gain weight and your breasts grow. And you get crazy. That's exactly, and that's part of the problem. See? I, just, I have to remind women, you're not crazy. It's your hormones. Let's balance out. So what do you do when you're trying to balance them out? You just tell oh. them, eat less soy? Yeah, exactly. I have For real? breast cancer boot camp. Be estrogen free. Flax free. Wow. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people think flax is healthy. It's a plant estrogen. 
This is important stuff. Wendy, thank you for telling me this. Uh, this yeah. is See, I figured we were just going to talk about the growing sizes of uh, millennial boobs. And then I got this email from you, yes. and I thought, and I thought we're going to get smarter on the show today. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. I yeah. appreciate that. I, I do appreciate you doing it. that. And then, uh, Wendy, uh, keep me in mind. Shoot me an email around October when we've got Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I want to be able to talk to you more about it, okay? Okay, wonderful. All right. I love you. Thank oh, you so much. Hey, yeah. Meryl? Yes. You suck. Ah! Best right, guest guys, ever. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Wendy. Take take care. Have a great 4th of July. All right. Uh, Linda, this is crap I didn't know. I'm smarter now because of that. And I have been a huge, <laughs> if you look back, if you Google me, and you'll find that I've been a huge proponent of breast cancer awareness. This is all new to me. This is really interesting. It's fascinating She was a good guest. I, I agree. In Iowa, all the male Supreme Court has